Hi right, guys. Well, it is a cold, blustery midwinter day in April. Good Lord. Here on Thursday, April 6, 2023, where the little dog and I are <laughs> shivering away. It is in the 40s today. It is almost 50 degrees cooler. I've I, I'm really trying to appreciate the humor of the weather being prettier in New York than in Texas uh, today and for as far as we can see into the future. But anyway, so uh, as I threatened earlier today, uh, I've been spending my day pinning my latest um, attempt at Doomer humor, I guess my vague attempt at Doomer Humor over here at medium.com and as I have promised I am you know I am trying to create a new uh, I'm trying to create a new dating site a new dating site for Doomers and so uh, this is what I have come up with so far so we need more ideas. So here's where we are now in the evolution of our new dating site for Doomers, which we are going to call Dead Planet Singles. Dead Planet Singles, where we make every day Doomsday, introducing the new dating site for Doomers. <clears throat> If you, like me, are a love-starved single Doomer, and if you are a Doomer, chances are that you are, my guess is that you may have debased and humiliated yourself by joining one of the dozens of vanilla dating sites for normies in a desperate and pointless search to find a romantic partner who shares your perfectly rational belief that we are totally fucked and there's not a damn thing we're going to do about it. For four lonely years, I have chummed the waters of the shark pool known as Pile of Fish, aka Pod of Whales, with this profile, Don Quixote seeks his Dulcinea Doomer Chick Forever for love among the ruins and wind turbine tilting. Week after depressing week, I have trepidatiously tiptoed to my empty inbox like Charlie Brown waiting in vain for his valentine from the little red-haired girl that never comes. Like a starving Somalian mother of eight, scratching the barren, dusty ground for any stray bits of grain that may have fallen from a U.S. aid bag in a U.N. migrant camp, I have scoured the endless and ever-expanding Rolodex of normie women from New York to Florida to Texas in the vain, apocaloptimistic hope that in some dark netherland of this Shakespearean catalog of existential despair calling itself women looking for men, I might actually stumble upon some life-saving nugget reading something like this. I am not a nun. Petite, long-haired, child-free and hopium-free vixen, involuntarily celibate for 11 years because she cannot find one man on this entire doomed planet with the balls to admit how utterly fucked we are, desperately seeks semi-nomadic, downwardly mobile doomsday prophet who divides his time between living in a 49-square-foot converted tool shed behind a shack on the side of the road in East Bumblefuck, New York, and wandering aimlessly around the Southland with his thumb up his ass, 
all winter while chronicling the long overdue collapse and fall of global industrial civilization, please let me be your doomer chick forever. While I am still waiting in vain for this feminine phantasm to appear in my lonely life, <clears throat> I have somehow managed to chisel enough round pegs into square holes to convince four or five open-minded normie women to debase themselves by agreeing to meet up with me for a first date. This no doubt has more to do with the dismal state of affairs of single women than it does my good looks, charm, and wealth, but I will take what I can get however I can get it. If you are a doomer who has been waylaid on the norny hamster wheel of dating, you probably, like me, have found yourself in this position a couple of times. Considering the steep odds already stacked against you going in to the pointless exercise, things are going remarkably and okay until somewhere between the third and fourth margarita, talk switches from the mundane chit-chat of favorite movies, It's a Wonderful Life, Hers, The Road, Yours, and Favorite Books, Love Story, Hers, and End Game, Yours, she suddenly chirps out of nowhere. So, isn't it great that we will get all fossil fuels in the next 20 years? In that old familiar fog of the depressing knowledge, you are in the company of yet another clueless moron settles over the table and you hear that little voice inside your doomer head muttering, Oh my God, am I here all alone? You would think after four years of this ego deflating, self-flagellating masochism, I would be done with pile of fish forever and just throw in the towel on this whole dispiriting, debasing, dating seen black hole of despair and just surrender to my lifetime of lonely celibacy. And you would almost be right. I was one step away from finally abandoning my chaotic quest for love among the ruins when just over a week ago I met some obviously very much in love married couple who met on some outfit calling itself Planet Earth Singles, which is pretty much the identical twin sister of another dating site calling itself Green Singles. Since it was obvious to me I would have a better chance of meeting my twin flame doomer chick on Planet Mars Singles, then on Planet Earth Singles, I defaulted to Green Singles. Motto, make every day Earth Day. Quoting verbatim from the Green Singles website, <clears throat> We cater to singles who value vegans and vegetarians, organic, non-GMO, whole foods, the earth, ecology, and the environment, sustainable and off-grid living, permaculture and community agriculture, animal and human rights, homesteading and intentional communities, holistic health and alternative therapies, yoga, meditation, and mindfulness, 
peace and social justice, independent media and thinking, <coughs> contribution and volunteering, and last but not least, creating world peace and freedom. As I scanned and rescanned this bliss ninny, limp dick, lefty laundry list of apocaloptimistic, happy horse shit, feeling my doomer bile rising in my throat, and my brief flash of hopium being dashed once again, I just took the fuck it, what do I have to lose at this point approach I take to all the other pointless, futile endeavors I begin in my life and signed up. Here is the profile I posted, which still remains. Enjoy it while you still can. I spend my summers on my 14-acre slice of heaven outside of Ithaca, New York. I now have one cabin and three tiny houses, two of which are off-grid. I am a snowbird, so spend my winters traveling roughly in a line between Florida and Belize. I will be honest here, I am a dyed-in-the-wool doomer looking for a doomer chick. You will know what that means if you are the woman I am looking for. Since we don't have our own dating site, I am over here. I would love to hear from you so you can know what you are getting into. If we were meant to meet, the universe will put it together. In my original post, I included a link to my YouTube channel, Collapse Chronicles, but the green singles cop bots, with a rather nasty note to me attached, deleted it from my profile. Since I am 63 years old, I did what any man my age on any dating site would do and asked to see any woman aged 28 to 39 that fit my discriminating Doomer criteria. That was a vain attempt at Doomer humor I actually said aged 55 to 65. To my amazement, 27,255 potential doomer chicks forever popped up. So I settled back and waited for the love-struck Cassandras to come pouring out of the woodwork. Well, that was 11 days ago. To date, exactly 14 women have clicked on my profile, and of those 14, ex exactly one, a 69-year-old vegan from Miami who does not drink, has favorited me and wants to meet me for a date, I guess at the local feed store. Fuck this bullshit. I know I am not alone when I say it is way past time. We doomers, the few, the proud, the lovelorn, and the celibate, start our own damn dating site and move on without this dreary, hopeless cattle train of normies, vanilla wafers, clueless fucking morons, and hopium-soaked, apocaloptimistic bliss ninnies holding us down for another night alone. May I present to you Dead Planet Singles, where we make every day doomsday. We at Dead Planet Singles cater to singles who value having a fucking brain a tiny modicum of discernment and critical thinking, at least one original thought per day, the freedom of having no fucking little brats spoiling our day, the freedom of being 
hopium free, the courage to handle the truth, the eyesight to cut through the bullshit, the freedom to eat or drive whatever we fucking want to, the knowledge that we are so fucked, and finally, the ability to still get out there and enjoy it while we still can. Can I get an amen, my fellow Doomer dudes and Doomer chicks forever? It is way past time that we once and for all and forever free ourselves from that vacant, wide-eyed stare from some clueless fucking moron normie sitting across the table from you, his or her organic kale salad hovering in midair just below their dumbstruck mouth as they try to decipher the alien language you are speaking when you mention overshoot the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative, or the Blue Ocean event in the course of your first and last date conversation. Let us rise up and sing in unison, we are the Doomers. We are a force to be reckoned with. We are here to stay. Now all we have to do is figure out how to find each other do I hear any ideas on how to get this revolution in consciousness for dead planet singles up and rolling? Hello? 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 Anyway, <laughs> that is what I have accomplished with my day. And now, I can't figure out uh, if the story has been published on Medium.com or not. I, uh, I'm over there on Medium.com and I'm too much of a Luddite to see if my story has been posted. Maybe someone can go over there on Medium.com and let me know that my story is there. And uh, I am proud to say that it looks like uh, Michael Campy and I uh, both posted our uh, medium.com essays uh, right about the same time. So uh, if you're over there on medium.com, be sure to check out Michael Campy's newest. And I hear a rumor, an unfounded rumor, that that little eco pussy over at that other channel uh, will be bringing on uh, Michael Campy uh, for a an Easter Sunday conversation for an antidote to the popium hopium. So we will see if that happens or not. Anyway, it is freezing, and uh, I think maybe my baked potatoes might be ready to come out of the oven. I'm going to get out there and enjoy a baked potato while I still can. My guys, and of course, Doomer Chicks forever. So any Doomer Chick, of course, hearing that, you know where to find me. Bye, ladies.